Good morning, folks. Mondays can be slow for science because nobody publishes on Sunday. But alas, we have a bunch of hidden gems from the week and data begging to have us learn from it. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star, quiet indeed. In the opening sequence, and here as well, you can see the large umbral magnetic fields on the right side from the sunspot that recently departed our view. We've got dark coronal holes as well, but they are sparse at geoeffective solar latitudes. Without the sunspots, there are no flares, and so we go to the solar wind. Pretty much calming down in terms of kinetic intensity, but up top in blue. Brief solar wind field reversal as we cross the heliographic current sheet. You can see how even though we're not running for the hills, the magnetosphere is well dinged by that rippling current sheet. Quick look here at the inner planets today. Mercury is indeed coming in for solar conjunction, and that would make Mercury there on Soho. But why does it have wings? The same reason that dust and gas hits look like UFOs and cosmic ray hits look like comets the size of the sun, and the reason for the opaque disk in the center blocking actual sunlight. The camera is super sensitive, and the sunlight reflecting off of Mercury is just too much. It's too sensitive to have sunlight at all in the lens, and so sensitive it makes novice viewers think scary thoughts based on dust and cosmic rays. Google satellite image artifact to learn more. Folks, we've got some weirdness in the downgrading of earthquakes here. These last two rang in at 6.8 and 6.7 respectively, and since every 0.2 jump doubles the power, that means that both of these events initially were reported at more than four times as powerful as the final marks. How does that happen twice in 24 hours? You'll have to ask the USGS. I don't have an answer for that one, just figured you might want to know. Moving on to the weather. Animal lovers exhale. The camel can handle this just fine, but it is a camel in a flooded desert of the UAE, and it has been two weeks of this for them. Meanwhile, back in the States, we've got a low-pressure cell in the Rockies. That is about to deport the previous low and unleash its own special brand of severe weather again in the central states tonight. It will continue throughout the evening. Eyes open there. Terrestrial gamma flashes. Earth flares. Just like the solar flare releases from sunspots, High-power electromagnetic photons in the gamma range blast out of thunderstorms directly up magnetic field lines. These are just one of four paramount physical and energetic similarities between the earthly storms and sunspots, and today we're learning that Africa produces far, far fewer of them. Even if you are just an abstract warrior on these papers we share in the news, the abstract in this one tells you exactly why Africa's lightning is more frequent but less powerful. Home stretch here, first looking at Antarctica in 25 years of changing ice levels with the summer and winter oscillation. They are discovering that there is considerable variability to that ice changes both up and down. By the way, the largest variations are the losses, but those have underwater volcanoes erupting beneath them. It is likely that over decadal and centennial time frames, the ice simply does not present an easy to understand rise or fall as a whole. Last but not least, folks, any of you who saw our Star Water series know that habitable planets and probably life must be everywhere, and I'd love to see it before I die. This researcher thinks he knows which stars to look at and which to ignore. It is a shame that there is a cringeworthy scientific error in the abstract there, though. Let's see who's sharp this morning. First comment catching the scientific error gets a free year's membership at suspiciousobservers.org. For those who are already members, we had our weekly Fly on the Wall podcast and a Deeper Look episode over the weekend, so check them out if you haven't already. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.